Hello friends, it's Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Lots of big changes happening with me, with World's Greatest Kiting, in the next coming days and weeks. Today is my official last day in this apartment. I'll be back to visit and I'll be here to see concerts and I'll still be able to show you concerts from Janus Landing here and gatherings with friends and things but I am actually moving to a different location just across town and I'll be able to show you some different things di different uh, backdrop to the videos occasionally so that's changing and tomorrow in the next few weeks I will not be in Florida at all there's a surprise mystery location that I'll be traveling to and showing you some adventures from different parts of the country in the next few weeks Yes, there are big, big plans in the works for World's Greatest Kiting. For me, and for you guys, because you're going to come along with me on all these new adventures that are about to happen. More to come on that very, very soon. Just starting to rain here at the homestead. One last good rain. While I'm here, on this last day, I'm going to do one more painting right here in the, the paint spot. Hope you like it. friends you want me to tell you what it is you probably can tell not my greatest work but I'm still learning watercolors I'm trying to do something a little abstract here but this is a road to somewhere someone on a journey into a it's supposed to be a night sky and then the kite is actually the moon lighting up the, the area and I tried some weird colors and didn't quite work out the way I envisioned, but it's all a happy accident, right? Doesn't look too bad. There it is. Call it Kite Moon. Kite Moon. Friends, I'm packing up some things, getting ready to get on an airplane first thing in the morning, and with all the regulations and if you've flown lately you know that there are fees for nearly everything besides sitting well there's even a fee for sitting on the plane if you want to pick your seat now so on the flight that I am on with United Airlines they don't give you anything you have to pay for every bag if it's not a purse or a backpack I will not be carrying a purse but I will be carrying a backpack and in that backpack I intend to pack some kites. Before, it was not this difficult to travel with kites. Uh, a rev or most quad line kites or most uh, dual line kites can mostly be packed down to something about two feet, 24 inches in length. Uh, there's some kites that get a lot smaller, like the Prism Backpacker Kite is a good option, but one kite that I always travel with and that will fit in a backpack, no problem, is this iFlight. This is a Patrick Tan creation. I've shown you a couple of these videos before and uh, you're gonna get to see some flying of this new design of iFlight and I'll put a link to Patrick's website down below where you can find out more about uh, his creations here but incredible kite to fly. It's really cool in the airport. A lot of people like watching these. The flight is on their mind. They're about to get an airplane and seeing this small kite fly around is really pleasant to onlookers in an airport. Uh, also, 
I'm going to be taking along some kites from Anthony Alto from Alto Kites. Anthony has developed a few kites that can fit into smaller bags. Uh, traditionally, as I said, they're about two feet in length. His kites are about 15 to 16 inches long, a little bit longer than this tube here, and will nicely fit in a backpack. This is the this is the largest size bag that you're allowed to take on an airplane for free now. Enough for a computer, a change of clothes, and about three kites. So tomorrow morning I'm going to meet up with AJ. Right before I get on that plane, he's going to hand me a couple of these kites, and we're going to go test them out and see how easy it is to travel with those. Very challenging nowadays for that travel, but we're going to do it anyway. One other thing we're going to pack for the trip is this plane. Remember this? Just this week we were talking about it, we assembled it, but didn't have a chance to fly it yet, and we're going to get it out and do a little flying. That should be a good time. So this is about everything that I'm going to be able to fit into this bag. I've, I've loaded up some some of the world's greatest kiting stickers and some buttons in here. And we're got a pair of headphones for flying with. Taking my broken tripod. You can still wrap this around things. It comes in handy sometimes. Just missing a leg. The iFlight. My good Bose headsets. It's great for the airplane and for video editing. A couple pairs of socks, some clothes, definitely the sunglasses, my uh, microphone with the windbreaker. Called it, it's called a dead cat, in case you didn't know. That fuzzy thing. That is a live cat. It's red. That is a dead cat. Bringing on the road my tripod. Remember the trash bag kite? Made this out of a Publix grocery bag. Two of them. I'm gonna take that along in the plane. And that's that's all of it. Oh, and and the shoes and clothes I'm wearing. But that's it. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I really appreciate it. Here on my last day in the beautiful Detroit hotel where. Babe Ruth and other famous baseball players and actors and actresses have stayed and lived over the years. My last night here, feeling a little nostalgic and reminiscing over the good times, the good videos that have been shot here. And this is where World's Greatest Kiting started, the first headquarters, if you will, of World's Greatest Kiting. I will miss this being the homestead and all the great concerts. Just right down there underneath that green tent where the stage is, the beautiful sunsets right out there. Let's see that. There's new adventures on the horizon though, just right out there, right along that horizon. We're going to be taking some new travels, seeing new places, checking out new faces, flying new kites, all for you guys. I really appreciate you subscribing, you watching, taking time out of your day to spend a little bit of time with me. That makes me feel good. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for watching and investing in world's greatest kiting. So until tomorrow, I'll leave you with a little bit of the sunset and let you know I love you. I mean it.